A future healthcare landscape that is very disturbing looms in many people's minds today. High costs, inadequate resources, physician shortages, deteriorating care. People fear that while a lucky few may enjoy easy access to doctors who are offering the best the technology can bring, the vast majority of us will endure long waits to see overworked physicians who are being directed to hold down costs. But this need not be our future. We're on the cusp of a radical restructuring of healthcare that will largely head off this split between rich and poor. The coming healthcare transition is not going to be easy, particularly in light of the institutional obstacles we've built to stifle innovation, but it will eventually usher in exceptional care for virtually everyone at a price we can afford. Technology, not altruism, will drive this shift once we let it. As healthcare becomes an information technology, it's going to show the same economies of scale that brought us the amazing computers and mobile phones that until recently were beyond the reach of even the uber rich because these things didn't exist. The same will unfold in healthcare. Yes, the cost of building the coming diagnostic and healthcare delivery infrastructure will be huge, but once we put it in place, serving more people will cost very little. And the system will get better and better as its size increases, because the data about everyone's symptoms, diagnoses, treatments, and outcomes will be integrated and learned from. This is the big data that will yield better decision algorithms in the expert systems diagnosing disease and optimizing wellness and treatment regimes in the future. It may seem astounding, but ultimately everyone is going to be able to have health care that is truly personal, predictive, founded on wellness and prevention, and far better than anything that anyone has today. But when is this going to happen and where? That's the issue. The recent transition to mobile phones offers some clues. In the developing world where landlines didn't have to be displaced, the transition to mobile was sudden. It took only one decade. And a population-wide rollout of real healthcare innovation may actually come first in the developing world where any meaningful medical access would be progress and where existing systems are less entrenched than they are here. In our developed world, the vanguard will likely be in the preventive and wellness spaces, which are similarly unfettered and have become the epicenter of the Health 2.0 movement. Much touted medical developments like telemedicine, remote patient monitoring, electronic health records, minute clinics, and medical tourism are very important, and they're well aligned with the coming transformation, but they're really only wobbly baby steps. Welding shiny new extras onto a broken chassis with a sputtering engine is simply not going to do the trick. The coming healthcare transition will cut much deeper. It will be the IT project of the next generation.